Hi, now we are going to develop a module that allows us to hide the cursor and make us move the mouse almost infinitely. As you can see, we have this project in this status, but we are going to create a new module, name it, let me close everything, name it mouse.js. We are going to create a class named mouse, an instance named mouse. So as I want to make you save time and I and as I want to save time too, I am going to copy and paste in order to be fast, but I'm going to explain every line I am paste. So the first thing that we need to do is set the canvas because the canvas is going to catch the pointer but because we need one element of the body make a request to catch the pointer in order to hide it so that is the that is the way someone have to do it and the, in our case it's going to be the canvas that's why we need property canvas in our constructor method here so the first step, almost the first step, then we need to validate if we have the canvas set. Otherwise we can say, hey, 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 no canvas selected. Um, then we need to add a listener when we start the, this functionality uh, on canvas. So canvas have to listen if someone click on it and then trigger this event handler. This event handler is going to be a method named click with starting with underscore but binding with this instance because we need to share information between the event handlers that's why we are binding these methods in this way so the method click underscore click is going to make the request of the pointer it's going to say hey I want to catch the pointer so that's it <laughs> but maybe this method doesn't work and why maybe because you are using uh, mozilla that's why we need to make some validation uh, in order to, to to copy to the same value if this method exists but if it isn't we can put most the request pointer lock replace this one with this one moth request pointer lock which is almost the same um, after that we need to add a one listener that tells us the tell to our system who has the pointer so the method is this one the the event listener is from the document the document is going to listen uh, when the pointer has changed the status and so that is the moment when we are going to trigger the toggle and the toggle is going to ask who has who has the uh, pointer hidden so if the document if the pointer lock element which is the document the owner knows that the canvas has locked the element so uh, we are going to activate this functionality which is a uh, record the movement of the mouse but maybe we are not using we are using mozilla so we need to do the same validation using this uh, attribute of the dom checking if the if the pointer is on canvas with this yeah property so now when we trigger this uh, listener the move mouse move we need to uh, record the movement of the mouse so that's why we need to set the this attribute name oh let me let me check let me check the this toggle the toggle we didn't set it up 
wasn't setting up was yeah in this way was linked in this way so we have the event handler which is this method binding to this instance and that's why and here the move the move event handler is going to have it's going to be the move method underscore move method binded to the same instance because we are going to use the keyword this inside so move the method move is that make the magic for us for the de game developers that so is going to record the movement in this attribute named delta and delta accumulate and accumulated uh, so now those uh, attributes are not done so i am going to copy and paste them um, now they are available um, from outside and um, we don't need to get build etc getter etc we can take it from any time anywhere um yeah the last step that we have to do is when okay let me go back one step if the pointer ha is not on canvas we need to take off take it off take this functionality off from the mouse move uh, event in order to stop the recording of the position of the mouse of the movement of the mouse um yeah now in order to finish this uh, okay i forgot another step which is do the same for mozilla we need to copy this twice and put mos because maybe the event pointer log change doesn't exist because you are a mozilla that's why you can call this event from most pointer log change and the last part of the writing code part is make the opposite of this of the starting so we need to copy this here and replace add event listener for remove event listener but we are going to run this line only if canvas this canvas exists so this is that's it um let me check if i'm missing something it looked like it's perfect so it's time to test it up so we are going to go to the index we are going to comment this line out and we are going to incorporate the mouse and we are going to set the canvas we are going to set the canvas to send the document dot query selector writing canvas now we need to start the mouse functionality uh, we can activate or deactivate whenever we want so now we need to compile this code and we will see on okay we need to we need to divide some value sample here yeah um now if we can see the mouse but if i make click on the canvas the canvas is going to catch the pointer and it's going to start to listen the movement of the mouse so now the mouse is hidden and if i move the mouse you can see the variation accumulated um, if I press escape there is a guy who is listening the pointer lock changing changes it's going to say okay we need to uh, take off the listener of the mouse move event and that's why if I move again the mouse we are not recording the variation of the movement of the mouse so as you can imagine we can use this functionality in order to spin around the camera or spin the, the, the character in in futures 
lesson for example so hopefully you enjoy and you learn something and see you in the following lessons stay 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 tuned see you bye